Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary, where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Now today we're going to be talking about the Buffalo Trace Distillery and their flagship product, Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Now I bothered to hike up here today because I used to do a lot of camping and hiking and whatnot, and Buffalo Trace represents pioneers and explorers, so it seemed like a reasonable catalyst to kind of get me out here to a nice vista and do my review. The history of the Buffalo Trace Distillery goes back to the 1700s, but whiskey wasn't distilled on the site until the 1850s. Several distilleries were constructed on location due to demolition, upgrades, and even lightning strikes. But the distillery that we know today as the Buffalo Trace Distillery came to be in 1999. This also happens to be when today's whiskey was first introduced. Since that time, the Buffalo Trace Distillery has won several awards, created 17 main expressions, and has even been named a National Historic Landmark. Buffalo Trace is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, bottled at 90 proof. Now, I'm sure you all know what a buffalo is, even if you're not from the United States, you've probably seen them on a nature documentary, or maybe you've shot them in that little mini game in the Oregon Trail. But uh, I started wondering what a buffalo trace was, because I've never heard that term. Now, it turns out that it's just a word for basically a game trail. Now, this is a game trail for a buffalo, so this thing is huge, right? It's not just like a little path through the woods. but Pioneers used to use these buffalo traces and they would, you know, follow them because the traveling over them was very easy. It was usually very flat or at the very least very good ground um, that they could travel easily over. Um, in fact, a lot of roads in Kentucky nowadays are built along these same buffalo traces. Now I may be out on a hike, but that doesn't mean that I'm a savage who can't bring his Glen Cairn glass with him. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this. And uh, if you have any interest in this, I would recommend getting a bottle first off, I'll tell you that. Um, so if you want to, go buy a bottle, stop the video, buy a bottle, come back, do the nosing and the tasting with me. I think it's more fun to kind of know that you guys are doing it together with me. So anyway, um, let's move on to the nosing. I took some notes because one thing I kind of counted on, and I'm glad I did, there's a lot going on out here. I'm in the middle of the woods, really, so there's a lot of smells, and being able to nose this properly isn't going to work very well. So don't mind me if I look at my notes, but go ahead. All right, so what I got was uh, vanilla and honey and molasses, you know, very common um, bourbon things. But I also got some mint, which I thought was pretty cool. And then uh, just in general, it's a very sweet smelling um, nose, which is from all the corn. So uh, let's go ahead and taste this, because why not? <laughs> Cheers. All right, so I get brown sugar, spice, oak, um, toffee, and some fruit. Uh, those are at least what I put in my, note, uh, my notes, but I'm picking, the, you can pick those up pretty easily, I think. This is a complex whiskey, but I think that the flavors are pretty bold. So um, actually, you know, I would almost recommend this as a good starter if you want to kind of get into tasting whiskey. Um, in general, I think bourbons are a good way to go too. But anyway, um, the finish is very long and smooth. Like usually, you, you may have picked up on this in some of my other videos. I'll take a sip and then I try to talk immediately and it's not always the easiest thing in the world. This doesn't have that. It's very, very smooth finish. So um, I, would recommend, I would recommend buying this uh, whiskey. So uh, with that, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to go finish my hike and what the heck, I'm going to walk around and finish my whiskey. Um, so uh, if you've been enjoying these episodes, please subscribe. Um, I noticed that most of my viewers actually are not subscribed to the channel. Uh, something like 95% are not subscribed. Kind of crazy, but either way, maybe you guys aren't thinking to do at the end or whatever, but either way, if you're interested, please subscribe to the channel. It just is a good motivator for me. So uh, the next episode is going to be in December. So I think I'll probably do some sort of a giveaway, um, just, you know, Christmas and whatnot. So uh, look forward to that and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Cheers.